Hey, you guys. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Spiritually Gifted here. So, you guys, I just finished washing my vehicle and I started receiving challenging from um, these karmics. You guys won't believe this. So, guess what the challenging was about? The karmics are saying that they're done. They're going to be... I, I, I felt... Um, uh, uh, the karmics are actually waking up early in the morning. This may be, it may have took place today or it's going to take place this week. But get this, this is beautiful. This is why I say, you know what? You just never know what these karmics going through or what they've been through themselves to make them the way that they are right now. This is why I continue to cons um, to actually send my twin and um, her karmic unconditional love because I don't know what this... Um, this karmic has been through, you know, and, and it's not my business. So guess what they, they're they doing now? A lot of them are waking up, showering. Um, some are making food, like breakfast or whatever, and they're telling your divine counterparts to get ready, get dressed. We, we are business to take care of. Get this. They're not telling them what type of business that they're finna take care of. They're taking them to get these, um, uh, like say they got vehicles and the vehicles are in a divine your divine counterpart's name for the both of them. They're taking them to the dealerships, talking with these people and making sure the vehicles are put only in the karmic's name and, and the vehicle that the divine counterpart, your divine counterpart have, is gonna be in your divine counterpart's name. They're on uh, severing ties with the property that they have, like a house, a condo, or whatever. So like if the karmic wants to keep it, um, they're coming to uh uh, a resolution together as to who's going to keep it but the, your divine counterpart is going to give it to the karmic and the karmic so what's going to happen is the, your divine counterpart is going to release their name relinquish their name from the property and they're going to um just go about their way and then on top of this I pray you know what I won't say praise I really am very proud of these karmics right now to be, be honest okay I'm going to keep it real because they're having self-love and they're they're feeling like why am i doing this i know i've been hurt in the past is what i'm getting i know i've been hurt in the past but it wasn't this person for some of them some of these our divine counterparts um have a past life with this person some of them grew up with them and they've been fucking around here and they are back and forth also they felt like well shit they played me so i'm gonna fuck over them for what they've done so now it's like, they're like, fuck this. Let me just let them go. Let them be happy. Because if I can continue down this world, not only is God going to get me, my karma's going to come back more than tenfold. They know this and they're feeling this because I feel like a lot of stuff is starting to happen to them. A lot of them losing their jobs. Um, some of them, if they um, were living alone, they're losing their place. Um, they're losing... Uh, uh, what you call it, clientele with the businesses. Like a lot of shit is just fucking up, like, right? Because of what the karmics have been doing. And the divine counterparts, don't get it twisted. <laughs> also, they're taking um, our divine counterparts to annul the um, contract that they have, like the business marriage contract. And your divine counterpart is like, I can see them now uh, rolling to the air and they're like, well, where are we going? And the karmic said, What'd she say? Wait. Wait, hold on. Let's sever these ties. Um, severing these ties. And then some of them said, well, damn, I had it right there and I forgot, y'all. Damn. I'm sorry, because I'm driving at the same time, but I'm trying to rec uh, <laughs> record it for y'all. Um, okay, the first thing I heard was severing ties and Oh shit! And, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I get so uh, anxious. And also, some of them are sitting down with the, um, our divine counterparts and telling them that they did indeed stole money. They did steal money from them, and they're actually giving the fucking money back because they don't want to go to fucking jail. You guys, this—if I'm telling you—they don't even have to do this shit, but they're choosing to do it. And they say they're releasing. Some of them saying they're releasing them. They want them to go ahead and be happy because they want to be happy. And some of them already got somebody. Some of them, are, well, actually, many of them already have um, other suitors. And they really, they knew that they really didn't want to be with this divine counterpart. They just wanted the money and to start the businesses. Um, what else? I know uh, severing the financial ties and 
the business is. Oh yeah, and the car. I said the car knows. Yeah, the car knows in the name of the vehicle who who has the vehicles. Yeah, it's a lot, you guys. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so proud of them. You guys got to give them the utmost respect. I know they've done shit to you guys but we have to just go ahead and just release that energy don't hold on to that energy because that holding on to that energy and that animosity and stuff it's not gonna do us no good it's not gonna do us no good whatsoever so let it go let it flow and be ready and get them cooch ready and you you men get y'all look hey your, your poles all together okay y'all might as well get y'all something get that stamina all up in and get your exercise in because y'all finna, finna be tired Ooh, have fun y'all uh -uh.